Good morning everybody and happy Tuesday. It is literally freezing, 32 and 0. Yay. So I did find the mathematical equation to the whole thing. Um, I found a simple version. And then Mr. Baker sent me a more detailed version. So when you get more in higher temperatures, I mean, when you're down into this, right now it's really simple. <laughs> Figuring out Celsius. And, but anywho, it is, uh, I think, 10 o'clock-ish, if not 10. Uh, 10, 20, oh, geez, almost 10, 30. Um, yeah, just, it, it's been so brutal cold outside, and I left both my beanies at work. So that is my Aldi's beanie in the back room on top of my other one. So, I meant to grab them when I went shopping yesterday and completely forgot, but anywho. I'm going to get these guys out for a short little walk, because there is a br little breeze going here, too. That's not very nice. I do have the hand warmers, the gloves. I'm going to have to wear them a little bit at work, I think, to break them in. How high do I need to hold this damn camera so I'm not, like, down here? But anywho. Um, so we had a notice on our door, and one of the tenants actually was in the store yesterday when I was shopping, telling me that they're supposed to be spraying for bugs today. But uh, now I see a maintenance vehicle there. You know, they're probably on lunch, but I don't know where everybody is. I don't think they're doing it. So, and uh, we really don't want them to do it for us. So, you know, well, I guess Chuck's in the office. There's no one here today for the office, though. It's weird. Whatever. Maybe they're not coming here anymore. <laughs> I might turn face tracking back off. This thing's acting up a little bit. Oh, but yeah, very brisk morning. And I've been up, but just not moving very fast. Got a little man in his jacket. And we got a squirrel over here standing up. Why are you drifting so far? There he is. Uh, you might be able to see him. I'm not pulling the iPhone. I do have it cased again, finally. But uh, I, don't think the, I don't think the pocket's like in the cold. Can we can we move a little bit here, bud? He's like, I'm, I'm sniffing right here. He's like, right here's the trash can. I'm going to poop, and we're going back home. I'm not doing this, Dad. I don't blame you. I do not blame you. All right. Alrighty, well I'm warmed up because I just got done cleaning the cars out. Got all the trash and stuff out of this car. And got the puppy seat or the puppy hammock and the blankets and everything out of this car, vacuumed it. It's as good as it's gonna be considering we're not supposed to have any nicer weather than today. In fact, it is like snow showers day after day after day. Come on, let's walk. And got the princess out trying to get her to get moving here. So, that's one thing I wanted to get done and not have to wait around on. I don't know what day I'm going to take it and go fill it. I want to fill it up on fuel before we, because it's at a half tank right now. Just take it down to Montoursville, top off the tank, and the car can just be ready to go for Saturday morning. Because <clears throat> I plan on being at my mom's at 6.30 in the morning. So, because I know I'm going to have to pack the car. <laughs> So the trunk is completely empty. The back seat is completely cleaned out and emptied. I got as much of the dog fur out as I can. Because as I mentioned, my cousin's one child is highly allergic to animal dander. Cat, dog, whatever. Can't get it all out. I mean, there's just it's, it's so brutally cold out. I wiped it down the best I could. Car does not look like it did when we went to, New Jer or went to Niagara Falls. So... Of course, I worked on it for hours and days. I just did maybe like a 20 minute clean out. Not even, I don't think it was that long because it's only 11.08. So, <clears throat> I don't know what's going on here today because I feel like we only have one maintenance. Okay, he's up at the shed. Come on, we gotta go see Bit. We gotta go see Chuck. See what the hell's going on with this whole exterminator crap thing. But um, I'm gonna check the mail too. I haven't checked the mail in God knows how long. I don't think I've checked the mail since the filter thing. <laughs> <laughs> that feels like that's been forever ago. Come on, let's go see Chuck. Go get a biscuit. But, uh, yeah, it's kind of one of those weird days. And that headache that I was talking about yesterday, just like right now, I think it's the sinuses and, yeah, it's got to be my sinuses and the cold air. It's, uh, it's right in this section right here. Oh, that actually feels good. Yeah, I think it's cold weather. That's causing it, because when I put my warm finger there, it uh, kind of subsided. Oh, the boxer's out back. Okay. Oh, that really pissed off the gimbal, trying to check the mailbox. 
Uh, you gonna go pedals? I don't know why I checked it on the way up. Now I gotta carry it everywhere we go, which with this wind is not gonna be far. See what's going on with the exterminator crap and then head back home. Cause I think she just piddled. So she's probably the best she's gonna be. Now Chuck doesn't drive his vehicle places, but I don't know if he's in the shed or not. Find out. All right, that makes sense. The other, the other maintenance guy is at the other building. He was there too, helping him move furniture. And the head of maintenance is uh, deer hunting. So, uh, Osmo, DJ Osmo Audio can't connected recording high quality video active track disabled. See, I thought that was supposed to be fixed with that one update earlier in the summer. Apparently not. So active track gets turned off when the mic connects. Oh well, no biggie. Like if I spin it around and come back around, it'll start tracking me again, no problem. So it makes no sense why it disables it. But anyhow, all right, so exterminator thing canceled out because we still have freaking stink bugs and ladybugs and something was in the sink. It looked like a freaking giant tick. I flushed him right down the sink in hot water. So sure the hell he was, but it doesn't seem to work real well. Anyway, uh, yeah, I definitely got myself nice and warmed up though from uh, cleaning the car. That was, uh, that worked out. All right, princess, you got a couple piddles in. You got a little bit of a walk. Got the mail after God knows how many days. It's a pile. <laughs> I have it wrapped up in the in the little local free. It's not like a newspaper. It's more like an ad paper. Looks like an... Uh, yeah, I definitely got myself nice and warmed up, though, from uh, cleaning the car. That was uh, That worked out. All right, princess, you got a couple piddles in. You got a little bit of a walk. Got the mail. After God knows how many days, it's a pile. <laughs> I have it wrapped up in the in the little local free. It's not like a newspaper. It's more like an ad paper. Looks like a newspaper. We use it for the bird cages. Uh, skies are trying to get a little bluer here. Not doing much. <laughs> but the uh, thermostats outside are all lying because they're like. Mine upstairs says it's 57, the other one says 41, so sun must have hit it briefly. I don't know. It is what it is, but we are on our way. Oh, yeah, I didn't vlog too much, but uh, I'm not gonna. It's gonna be a short night. So, I, I don't really know what's going on with the schedule tonight. But I have one till five, one till eight, one till 8.30. We'll see if that actually becomes a real thing. Oh. We'll see what sales are and what we're supposed to do and whether or not I have to send somebody home early. That'll suck. But it makes it very hard to do your job when you don't have people. Alrighty, <clears throat> brought the leftover pasta from last night instead of having Uncrustables tonight. I just saw a snow flurry fly by. It's not, I mean, it's not horrible out right now. This morning was just, I don't know, it was just chill and then that breeze. Of course, if I had my beanie with my hair being as short as it is, hat makes a big difference, so. But it looks like New Jersey is going to be just as cold Saturday. Uh, I think the high is looking as negative three Celsius. I don't ever remember being at the shore in that cold a temperature. No. Kind of on the fence if I want to take any equipment with me. Um, I really at least like to drive up to the beach and just take a, you know, get a quick shot. I know last year we did when we went with my aunt and uncle um, and my mom, but I wasn't really prepared. I think I was using, oh, no, I definitely, uh, did I have the Pocket 3 yet? I know I used the iPhone and it was windy, so definitely gonna have the microphone and either the action of the Pocket. I'm wondering if I wanna take the Sony along and try to get some shots with the tripod. Mike said to take really, well, actually, I don't probably don't even need the tripod because he said to speed up the shutter to get the waves stopping. So I'm sure I'll talk to him again before I go. 
and uh, figure it out. Okay, yeah, so that's slower, that's faster. Gotcha. All right. It also makes it darker, but then you can change that with different other settings. <laughs> that's the problem. It's like there's so many things you need to know. If you do this with this, you have to do that with that. And, I mean, I've been running an ISO of like 64 on all the shots I got, which, like he said, that's why you're not getting any grain in your, in your shots is because you're running such a low ISO and adjusting everything else to make it brighten up. My windshield frosty. Cause it is 28 degrees outside. Rain X guys, especially in the, like right now, I don't think I'm running the real heavy winter one. I think I'm running them between. Maybe I'm running the purple. It's like a negative 20 degree or something like that. All right, so the trick is make sure the mic is connected before you have face tracking. Then it doesn't give you a problem. It doesn't shut it off then. But if you're face tracking and then the mic connects, for some reason it disables it. Don't know. And that, like I said, that was supposed to be fixed. I'm just going to give this little bad boy a second to get some warmth going on. Oh, man, I wish we got out of there on time tonight. I mean, I punched out right at 830, but... It was just, I was given a, a list of how to do things and no way in hell did that work out in any way, shape, or form for me. So, but nonetheless, we got it done. A little time crunched, but we did it, so... Oh, well, at least I don't have to worry about cleaning the other car. In fact, I think I'm going to take that car tomorrow. So we have a whole, we have cases, cases of ground turkey, three pound packs that are, they came in like they must have come in today or something. They're dated the fifth. So they're discounted. So I'm coming in nine o'clock tomorrow morning and grabbing at least two maybe four and then i'm going to run down and get that car filled up with gas because she won't be going anywhere with it um <clears throat> so everything should be good to go car will be filled up ready to rock and roll for the trip saturday i am excited i'm, I'm a little bummed out about the temperatures though that it's going to be so cold. So definitely this jacket is probably taking the trip. I found, I did find my, my hoodie or my beanie was here. Then I almost lost it again at the end of the night with my brand new gloves. I was freaking out, thought I bailed them. They are um, a little bit thick for doing this work. I was able to do some stuff with them, but some meticulous stuff that you need, you know, closer not so good be interesting when i open thursday with the uh freezer because that's the one that i really needed with the uh opening some of those boxes it's, it's always a good hefty punch on a few of them <laughs> everything is perforated just not real well anyway okay heading home i don't know if puppies are going to come down to me i gotta well they have to come down to me because they need to get their snack snack and then uh, probably take him out for a quick little little walk. Uh, is this still lit up down here? It is. Hold on. I'm not sure what this is. Looks like a fire hall. Something. Uh, nightly oh, funeral home. Well, they decorate really well for Christmas for the funeral home. Wow. It's pretty. I love that. Yeah, we'll do a little Christmas light test since we went a little different way here. Yeah, it's got them on there. Santa out. Camera's not looking the right way. Bring it up a little bit. And maybe too high. Because I'm not sure. I mean, having the camera outside is the better way for lights and windshield glass and all that, but it's also a little bit precarious. We'll come up through Newberry, why not? I didn't mean to do this, but hey, if that's what we're going. I guess that's what we're going. <laughs> mm. 
No. Hi, Bobby. Hi, Bobby. Yes, Daddy's home. Daddy's home. Get snack, snack. Get snack, snack. Thank you very much for watching. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, thumb up, and comment. I will see you in the morning. As always, have a great night and stay safe.